What are the four most important financial performance indicators? I help companies develop KPIs and metrics to help them monitor their strategy. And obviously what every company needs is to look at their finances. So what I want to do in this video is to look at the top four that every company should be monitoring. Obviously, your KPIs depend on your strategy, so you might have to add new ones. But for me, these four are ones that every company should be focusing on. The first one you want to measure is your income or your revenue or your sales, where you basically monitor how much money you're generating. And this is called top line sometimes because it's the top of the income statement. And what we're trying to do here is we want to monitor how well you're generating sales and revenue, and especially looking at revenue growth rate, so how much your revenue is growing. And then it's really useful to split this by customers, by products, by regions, so you get a feel of where you're generating money in the business. And when you start to measure this, it's useful to look at revenue concentration in any business because you don't want to have all of your revenue coming from just one product or one customer. So this is useful to monitor when you, when you look at how much money you're generating. The second one we want to look at is profitability. This basically means how much money is left at the end. So sales you generate, but then you also have costs, so you need to take the costs away to get to your profit. So your net profit is a key metric saying how much is left at the end. And especially looking at net profit margins, which basically means the percentage of your revenue that is left as profit. Net profit margins obviously vary by industry. A good benchmark is to aim for about 10% of, of net profit margins. Um, if you go below 5%, this is pretty low. If you go above 20%, this is considered really high. The third one is to look at your liquidity or how much money you have available. This is basically the difference between your current assets or the cash you have in your bank and your invoices you have already sent out or your, your stock that you have and you take away any liability, so anything that you still need to pay, so accounts payable. We refer to this as working capital and what you want to aim for is a ratio between 1.2 and 2 to have a healthy business. Another way to look at liquidity is your cash conversion cycle. This basically means how long it takes you to get your money from starting to make an investment. So if you make an investment into equipment, if you invest in a new project, how long does it take you then to collect money? Or let's say you have invested in making a product, you've bought the goods, how long does it then take you to make it, to sell it, until you get the revenue into your bank account. And what companies are trying to do is to reduce this cash conversion cycle to generate better liquidity. The fourth area is that we have to spend our money wisely. So what we want to do is we want to invest in things that generate a return to, to our business. And we, we call this return on investment. So ROI. And what you want to do is you want to invest in the things that generate you a big return. So in marketing, for example, a return of investment of five to one is considered pretty good. Where you say you invest um, one pound in something and then you get five pounds back. If you get to 10 to one, for example, this is considered an, an exceptional return on investment. So here you have it. The four most important financial KPIs are sales, profit, liquidity, and return on investment. They are things every company should be monitoring. If you'd like to learn more about KPIs, head to my website where you can find lots of articles and white papers on the topic, but also a KPI library that has some of the most common and most important KPIs, not just in finance, but across all business units that you will hopefully find useful.